Hello, I'm Natalie Kunzman, MD, and I get a lot of questions from some of my cancer or non-cancer patients about what is it exactly that we do when we do integrative cancer work. So here in Colorado Springs, I work with several practitioners in this arena. Now, I must give the disclaimer that integrative cancer therapies are not instead of, but they are in addition to the strategies that are implied for your particular tumor type or your particular cancer. It is an individualized approach and it incorporates some of the most aggressive tenets and principles of the functional medicine platform. So in the cancer arena, there are the classic protocols that will revolve around the cell type, the receptors that might be on that particular tumor that can be targeted for some of the immunoglobulin-based therapy or chemotherapies. And of course, depending where this tumor may be, there may be a surgical approach for removal or reduction of a tumor size. It may require going after some of the lymph nodes in that particular area. And it may employ some chemotherapy tactics in addition to radiation tactics. Now that's based upon the cell type, its very self. Where the integrative tools come in is actually working on the host issues or you as the patient who now needs to go from creating a favorable environment for that tumor to grow to creating an unfavorable environment for a tumor to grow. Some of these will be in the food arena. So let's start there. There are a lot of insulin receptors and tumors feed on sugar. So the worst thing we could do is have a diet that's high in sugar. But those diets that have been researched that do the very, very best are vegetable-based, very low meat, and Gerson is one of the prototype diets for this approach. And it will be no sugar because we need to create an unfavorable environment and starve those receptors on the tumor. Now to that note, with a high sugar environment being very optimal for a tumor to survive, we might employ tactics such as metformin or some herbal strategies to try to maximize insulin sensitivity and almost block some of those extra insulin receptors that are on the tumor. The other thing that cancer has figured out is how to live in a hypoxic environment. So of course, if we are allow, if, if it is living in an anaerobic environment, one of the best things we can do is give it an aerobic environment. Let us get a lot of oxygenation to that tissue so that again, our immune system and that cellular type does not have a good environment to grow anymore. So we will use some of those tactics and strategies. On the oxygenation platform, sometimes pumping in ozone to the particular area, which is a three oxygen molecule moiety, might be employed to help with that approach. And then there's been some great research with the exercise with oxygen infusion during exercise, or maybe even employing hyperbaric oxygen is also a strategy for that. Now there are some repurposed medications that came out on the market for other things, but are doing a wonderful job at improving our immune system and promoting apoptosis. And apoptosis is that strategy that our immune system uses to basically kill off a cell and let it die off. And one of those is LDN, LDN which is low-dose naltrexone. 
and that is a lecture that I've described in detail previously if you would like to know what some of those strategies are. We will employ some more of the herbal approaches. We will consider a lot of aggressive tumor marketing, tumor marker following. We will optimize the host by making sure cardiovascularly you are sound because an optimal cardiovascular system optimizes the oxygenation to the tissues and optimizes the immune system. And an optimal immune system is what we need to recognize a bad cell and kick it out or a bad cell and repair it. That will lend us to vitamin C in high doses and vitamin D3, which is part of that immune system needed to help with this environment. Now, a lot of these strategies can be used to maybe even require less of that same chemotherapy to be needed to go after the kill rate. It may help you make your way through the surgical approach and healing. If we've had a lot of chemotherapy, we will help you build your gut system back since those bacteria are particularly vulnerable to the chemotherapy approach. I haven't even gotten into mistletoe or insulin potentiation therapies or some of the more aggressive IV therapies that can be employed to help you work with your cancer team. We may need to optimize your hormone base. We will certainly want to increase and improve your sleep. And by all means, in the middle of this battle, it is a very stressful time. And all of those energetic strategies, whether it incorporates infrared or energy work or some of the frequency therapies that we can infuse to your biofield to help you lower the stress and optimize your fight in this battle, we've got those at our disposal too. So again, if you are suffering with a cancer diagnosis, do not worry. There are so many strategies that we can bring to the table that will work for your style and your lifestyle and improve your outcome with your current team. Again, I'm Natalie Kunzman, MD. Subscribe to my channel below. And until we meet again, be well.